Habits shape our lives, defining who we are and determining the quality of our existence. Every action we take, whether small or significant, adds up to shape our destiny. The habits we form create the reality we live in today. They can either be the building blocks of success or the invisible chains holding us back. Many of us have dreams and goals, but often find ourselves unable to reach them. The culprit often lies in our daily routines, the negative habits that secretly hold us back. These habits are like weeds in a garden. If not identified and uprooted, they will choke the flowers of potential trying to bloom. The good news is that you can change. You can replace negative habits with life-enhancing ones, rewriting your story to create a stronger, more confident version of yourself. Today, we'll explore 10 habits that may be ruining your life. By recognizing and changing these habits, you can transform your life and achieve the success you deserve. Habit one, procrastination, the thief of time. Procrastination is the habit of putting off important tasks. And it is one of the most destructive habits you can have. When we procrastinate, we waste valuable time that could have been used to move us closer to our goals. Every time you say, I will do it tomorrow, you are stealing from your future self. Procrastination prevents success because it robs you of momentum. The longer you put off a task, the more daunting it becomes. Procrastination is often fueled by fear, fear of failure, fear of the unknown, or even fear of success. But the only way to overcome fear is to take action. To break the habit of procrastination, start by taking small steps. Break your tasks into smaller, more manageable pieces and commit to working on them for just a few minutes. Often, the hardest part is getting started, but once you do, you'll find that it's easier to keep going. Remember, the key to success is consistent action. Identify the root cause of your procrastination. Are you afraid of failure or unsure of where to start? Once you understand why you're putting things off, you can address the underlying issue. If a task seems overwhelming, break it down into smaller steps. If you're afraid of failure, remind yourself that failure is part of the learning process and that taking action, even imperfect action, is better than doing nothing. Procrastination thrives in an environment of distraction. Create a focused work environment by eliminating distractions. Set specific times during the day to work on your most important tasks Put your phone on silent and close unnecessary tabs on your computer. By creating an environment that supports productivity, you'll find it easier to overcome procrastination and take action. Habit two, negative self-talk, the enemy within. Negative self-talk is the voice inside your head that tells you that you can't do it, that you're not good enough, or that you'll never succeed. It is one of the most damaging habits you can have because it limits your potential and keeps you from taking action. The way you talk to yourself has a powerful impact on your mindset, your actions, and ultimately, your results. When you engage in negative self-talk, you create a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you tell yourself that you can't do something, you won't even try. If you believe that you're not worthy of success, you will sabotage your own efforts. Negative self-talk keeps you stuck in a cycle of fear and self-doubt, preventing you from reaching your full potential. The good news is that you can change your internal dialogue. You can replace negative self-talk with positive, empowering thoughts. Start by becoming aware of the negative thoughts that come up and challenge them. Ask yourself if they are really true. More often than not, they are based on fear, not reality. Replace those negative thoughts with affirmations, positive statements that remind you of your strengths and capabilities. For example, instead of saying, I can't do this, say, I am capable and I can figure this out. Over time, these positive thoughts will become your new reality. Consider the example of Sarah, who struggled with negative self-talk for years. She constantly told herself she wasn't smart enough to succeed in her career. This belief held her back from applying for promotions and taking on new challenges. One day, Sarah decided to change her internal dialogue. She started using positive affirmations daily and surrounded herself with supportive friends. Gradually, she began to believe in her own abilities, within a year, Sarah applied for a promotion she once thought was out of reach and got it. By changing her self-talk, she was able to break free from her limitations and achieve her goals. Another powerful way to combat negative self-talk is to practice gratitude. When you focus on what you're grateful for, it's, it's harder to dwell on negative thoughts. Take a few minutes each day to write down three things you're grateful for. They can be big or small. Anything that brings you joy or makes you feel good. 
Practicing gratitude helps shift your focus away from what's wrong and towards what's right in your life, which in turn helps to quiet the negative voice inside your head. It's also important to surround yourself with positive influences. The people you spend time with can have a significant impact on your mindset. If you're surrounded by people who are constantly negative or critical, it's likely that their negativity will rub off on you. On the other hand, if you spend time with people who are positive, supportive, and uplifting, their positivity will influence you as well. Seek out relationships with people who encourage you, believe in you, and lift you up. Their support will help you develop a more positive internal dialogue. Habit three, comparing yourself to others. One of the most common habits that ruin people's lives is comparing themselves to others. With the rise of social media, it's easier than ever to see what others are doing and to feel like you're not measuring up. But here's the truth, comparing yourself to others is a recipe for dissatisfaction and unhappiness. It keeps you focused on what you lack rather than on what you have. Each person's journey is unique. We all have different strengths, weaknesses, and experiences. When you compare yourself to someone else, you're not seeing the full picture. You're only seeing their highlight reel, not the struggles and challenges they've faced. Instead of comparing yourself to others, focus on your own progress, set your own goals and measure your success based on your growth, not someone else's. Remember, life is not a competition. The only person you should be competing with is yourself. Focus on becoming a better version of yourself each day and you'll find that you are happier and more fulfilled. One effective way to stop comparing yourself to others is to limit your time on social media. Social media often presents an unrealistic picture of, of people's lives, making it easy to feel inadequate. If you find that social media is causing you to compare yourself to others, take a break. Spend that time focusing on your own goals and accomplishments instead. You'll be amazed at how much better you feel when you're not constantly comparing yourself to others. Another important step is to celebrate your own successes, no matter how small they may seem. When you achieve something, take a moment to acknowledge it and feel proud of yourself. Keep a journal where you write down your accomplishments and revisit it whenever you need a boost of confidence. By focusing on your own progress and celebrating your own wins, you will be less likely to compare yourself to others and more likely to feel content and fulfilled. Habit four, living without clear goals. One of the biggest reasons people fail to achieve success is because they don't have clear defined goals. Without goals, you have no direction. You're like a ship without a rudder drifting uh, aimlessly, hoping to end up somewhere good. But hope is not a strategy. If you want to achieve success, you need to have clear, specific goals that guide your actions. When you set goals, you give yourself a target to aim for. Goals provide you with a sense of purpose and direction. They help you focus your time and energy on what really matters, and they give you a sense of accomplishment when you achieve them. Without goals, it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day grind and lose sight of what you really want to achieve. To set meaningful goals, start by thinking about what you really want in life. What are your dreams? What do you want to accomplish? But once you have a clear vision, break it down into smaller, achievable goals. Write them down and create a plan to achieve them. Remember, the key to achieving your goals is to take consistent action, no matter how small. It's also important to review your goals regularly. Life is constantly changing and your goals may need to be adjusted along the way. Take time each month to review your goals and assess your progress. Are you on track? Do you need to make any changes to your plan? Regularly reviewing your goals will help you stay focused and motivated. In addition, Make sure your goals are aligned with your values. When your goals are in alignment with what truly matters to you, you will be more motivated to achieve them. Take some time to think about your values and what is most important to you. Then set goals that reflect those values. For example, if one of your values is family, set goals that allow you to spend more quality time with your loved ones. When your goals are aligned with your values, you will feel a greater sense of purpose and fulfillment as you work towards them. Habit five, not taking responsibility, the blame game. Blaming others for your failures is a habit that will keep you stuck in life. When you refuse to take responsibility for your actions, you give away your power. You become a victim of circumstances rather than the creator of your own destiny. The truth is, the only person who is responsible for your life is you. Taking responsibility is not always easy. It requires you to be honest with yourself and to acknowledge your mistakes but it is also incredibly empowering. 
When you take responsibility for your actions, you take control of your life. You realize that you have the power to change your circumstances and create the life you want. Let me share a story with you. There was a man who, for years, blamed his lack of success on his boss, his family, and even the economy. He believed that his circumstances were holding him back. But one day, he decided to take responsibility for his life. He stopped blaming others and started taking action. He worked on his skill set goals and took consistent action. Today, he is successful and fulfilled, not because his circumstances changed, but because he changed. When you take responsibility, you become the author of your own story. You stop being a passive observer and start being an active participant in your life. You begin to see challenges as opportunities to learn and grow rather than obstacles that are holding you back. You start to realize that you have the power to create the life you want, and that power comes from within. One way to start taking responsibility is to change your language. Instead of saying, I can't do this because of someone or something else, say, what can I do to overcome this challenge? Shifting your language from blame to action will help you take ownership of your life and your circumstances. Remember, no one else is responsible for your success or happiness. You are. Habit six, poor time management. Wasting your most precious resource. Time is your most valuable resource. Once it's gone, you can't get it back. Yet, so many people waste time on activities that don't bring them closer to their goals. Poor time management is a habit that can prevent you from achieving success, no matter how talented or capable you are. To manage your time effectively, you need to prioritize your tasks, focus on the activities that will have the biggest impact on your life and your goals, avoid time-wasting activities like excessive social media use or watching TV for hours. Instead, use your time to work on your goals, learn new skills, and improve yourself. One of the best ways to improve your time management is to plan your day in advance. Take a few minutes each evening to write down the tasks you need to accomplish the next day, prioritize them based on their importance, and commit to completing them. Remember, time is your most precious resource. Use it wisely. Another important aspect of time management is learning to say no. Many people find themselves overwhelmed and overcommitted because they have a hard time saying no to others. While it's important to be helpful and supportive, it's also important to protect your time and prioritize your own goals. If someone asks you to do something that doesn't align with your goals or that you simply don't have time for, it's okay to say no. By setting boundaries and protecting your time, you'll be able to focus on what truly matters and make meaningful progress toward your goals. It's also helpful to break larger tasks into smaller, more manageable pieces. When you have a big project to work on, it can feel overwhelming and it's easy to put it off. But by breaking it down into smaller steps, you can make steady progress without feeling overwhelmed. For example, if you need to write a report, start by outlining the sections, then work on one section at a time. By breaking tasks into smaller pieces, you'll be able to manage your time more effectively and make consistent progress. Habit seven, associating with negative people. The people you spend time with have a powerful influence on your mindset and your success. If you surround yourself with negative people, your negativity will rub off on you. They will bring you down, fill your mind with doubt, and prevent you from reaching your full potential. On the other hand, when you surround yourself with positive, supportive people, they lift you up. They inspire you to be your best self, and they encourage you to pursue your goals. If you want to be successful, you need to be intentional about the people you spend time with. If there are negative people in your life who are holding you back, it's time to distance yourself from them. This doesn't mean you have to cut them out completely, but you should limit the amount of time you spend with them. Instead, seek out people who are positive, motivated, and supportive. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and your potential, and you'll find that you are more motivated and inspired to achieve your goals. Consider the story John, who used to spend most of his time with friends who were always negative and critical. They constantly complained about their jobs and blamed others for their problems. John realized that their negativity was affecting his own mindset and holding him back from pursuing his goals. He decided to limit his time with them and instead joined a local business group where he met positive, like-minded individuals. The new connections he made inspired him to take action towards his dreams, and within a year, John had started his own successful business. 
by distancing himself from negative influences and surrounding himself with positive people, John was able to transform his life. One way to find positive influences is to join groups or communities that align with your interests and goals. Whether it's a professional organization, a hobby group, or an online community, surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals can provide you with the support and encouragement you need to succeed. Being part of a positive community can help you stay motivated, learn new things, and overcome challenges. Another way to attract positive people into your life is to be a positive person yourself. When you have a positive attitude, you naturally attract others who share that mindset. Focus on being kind, supportive, and encouraging to those around you, and you'll find that you start to build relationships with people who are positive and uplifting. Remember, positivity is contagious. When you spread it, it comes back to you. Habit eight, lack of self-discipline, the bridge to nowhere. Self-discipline is the ability to do what needs to be done even when you don't feel like it. It is one of the most important habits for success, yet so many people lack it. Without self-discipline, it's easy to give in to distractions, procrastinate, and avoid the hard work that is necessary for success. The lack of self-discipline is like a bridge to nowhere. It keeps you from crossing over to the life you want to live. But the good news is that self-discipline is a skill that can be developed. Start by setting small goals for yourself and committing to achieving them. Each time you follow through on a commitment, you strengthen your self-discipline. One of the best ways to develop self-discipline is to create routines and stick to them. For example, if you want to exercise more, commit to working out at the same time each day. If you want to be more productive, set aside specific times each day to work on your goals. The more you practice self-discipline, the stronger it will become and the easier it will be to achieve your goals. Another powerful way to build self-discipline is to eliminate temptations. If you know that you are easily distracted by your phone, put it away while you're working. If you tend to eat unhealthy snacks when you're trying to diet, remove those snacks. By eliminating temptations, you make it easier to stay on track and build the discipline you need to succeed. It's also helpful to remind yourself of the long-term benefits of self-discipline. When you're tempted to give in to a distraction or avoid a task, take a moment to think about your goals and why they are important to you. Visualize yourself achieving those goals in the sense of accomplishment and fulfillment that comes with it. By focusing on the long-term rewards, you'll be more motivated to stay disciplined and do what needs to be done. Habit nine, fear of failure, paralyzing your potential. Fear of failure is one of the biggest obstacles to success. It prevents us from taking action, trying new things and stepping out of our comfort zone. But the truth is, failure is a natural part of the journey to success. Every successful person has failed at some point, and it's through failure that we learn and grow. Instead of fearing failure, embrace it. See it as a learning experience and an opportunity to grow. When you fail, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I do better next time? The more you embrace failure, the less power it has over you. Remember, the only true failure is not trying at all. Take risks, step out of your comfort zone, and don't be afraid to fail. It's through failure that you will find success. One way to overcome the fear of failure is to reframe your perspective on failure. Instead of seeing failure as a negative outcome, see it as a necessary step towards growth and success. Every time you fail, you are gaining valuable experience and learning important lessons that will help you improve. The most successful people in the world have failed countless times, but they didn't let those failures stop them. They used them as stepping stones to achieve greatness. Another important step is to take action despite your fear. Fear often grows when we overthink and dwell on what could go wrong. Instead of letting fear paralyze you, take action, start small if you need to, but take a step forward. The more you take action, the more confident you will become and the less power fear will have over you. Remember, courage is not the absence of fear. It's taking action in spite of fear. Habit 10, living in the past, the weight of yesterday, Dwelling on past mistakes and failures is a habit that can hold you back from living the life you want. When you focus on the past, you are unable to move forward. You carry the weight of yesterday and it prevents you from embracing the opportunities of today. The past cannot be changed, but the future is in your hands. Let go of the past and focus on the present and the future. Learn from your mistakes, but don't dwell on them. 
Instead, use them as stepping stones to become a better version of yourself. Remember, every day is a new opportunity to create the life you want. One powerful way to let go of the past is to practice forgiveness. Forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made and forgive others who may have hurt you. Holding on to anger, resentment, or regret only weighs you down and prevents you from moving forward. By practicing forgiveness, you free yourself from the burdens of the past and create space for new opportunities and growth. It's also important to focus on the present moment. The present is the only moment you have control over, and it's where you have the power to create change. Practice mindfulness by bringing your attention to the here and now. When you find yourself dwelling on the past, gently bring your focus back to the present. What can you do today to move closer to your goals? By focusing on the present, you can take meaningful action and create a better future. The key to focusing on the present moment is to develop a mindfulness practice that works for you. Mindfulness can take many forms. It can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths, going for a walk in nature, or engaging in a hobby that brings you joy. The goal is to bring your awareness to the present and fully experience what you are doing without judgment. The more you practice mindfulness, the better you will become at staying present and letting go of the past. Another effective way to stay present is to set daily intentions. At the beginning of each day, take a moment to set an intention for what you want to accomplish or how you want to feel. This could be something as simple as, today I will be patient unto myself, or today I will take one step towards my goal. Setting an intention helps you stay focused on the present and gives you a sense of purpose for the day. It also helps you let go of the past and any worries about the future, allowing you to make the most of each moment. It's also important to practice self-compassion. Many people get stuck in the past because they are overly critical of themselves and their mistakes. They replay their past actions over and over again, wishing they had done things differently. But this kind of self-criticism only keeps you stuck. Instead, practice self-compassion by treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer a friend. Remind yourself that everyone makes mistakes and that you are doing the best you can. By being gentle with yourself, you can let go of the past and focus on creating a better future. Living in the present also means being open to new opportunities. When you are focused on the past, you may miss out on the opportunities that are right in front of you. Practice being open and curious about the present moment. Notice the people you meet, the experiences you have, and the opportunities that come your way. When you are fully present, you are more likely to recognize and take advantage of the opportunities that can help you grow and move forward. Finally, remember that the present is a gift. It is the only moment you have to take action and make a difference in your life. The past is gone, the future is yet to come, but the present is here right now waiting for you to make the most of it. Embrace the present moment, take action, and create the life you want. By letting go of the past and focusing on the here and now, you can create a future that is bright, fulfilling, and full of possibilities.